Hi everyone and welcome to my channel audio video music and entertainment. In today's video I'm going to show you how you could use Google Chromecast to create a wireless stereo sound system. Uh, obviously Google advertised this uh, device as that you can connect it to your existing speaker or speakers uh, but you know they don't advertise or market as like how to get it uh, as a stereo image. Uh, most of the music listeners they want to listen to your to their music uh, stereo in stereo mode uh, like left and right uh, so I'll show you how to do that uh, you guys probably already know like uh, uh, how to set it up and all that so once you have done the setup with your wireless network then just go ahead connect the 3.5 mm cable to Google Chromecast and obviously as, uh, as some of the listeners probably know the viewers know that uh, Google Chromecast uh, receives the uh, digital audio and then sends it via analog conversion uh, and uh, for those who don't know I just want to mention that the chip installed inside it's quite high resolution chip uh, so when you send uh, the audio from your phone mobile phone to Chromecast it receives the audio in digital form and then there is a chip installed DAC chip uh, which is digital to analog conversion uh, that converts the digital audio at 24 bit depth uh, at a sample rate of 192 kilohertz which is quite high resolution uh, I mean at the moment that's the highest it can go in terms of sample rate uh, so that's a good thing also uh, if you want to connect uh, uh, Google Chromecast audio uh, to your AVR to get like surround sound then it has a digital output via same port as well uh, which is SPDIF and uh, SPDIF uh, 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 sends audio uh, uncompressed in uncompressed form PCM to two channels so like as stereo and if you want to get surround sound then uh, the audio is compressed uh, those are the limitations of SPDIF and the way you connect is you use a toss link a mini toss link cable you connect it to Chromecast and then the other end uh, you connect it to your AVR uh, to get uh, surround sound uh, out of your uh, uh, out of your surround sound speakers I don't know why you want to do that for music uh, but uh, just just uh, to let you know that uh, that functionality is in this device uh, okay so uh, as I said Google advertised this as you know connected to your existing speaker like use a 3.5 mm cable and then connect the other end into your speaker to make it a wireless speaker how you can get like a stereo setup uh, there are two ways of doing it either you're gonna need uh, some kind of mixer audio mixer like a small one or audio interface whatever you want to call it and second uh, method is and that's how you distribute the audio second method is you get a amplifier like a, a small amplifier can output from that amplifier to your left and right speaker and uh, connect 3.5 mm cable here and then whatever uh, that amplifier input takes like a XLR or a TS then just convert the other end of the cable to that and uh, uh, the audio would be fed to the amplifier excuse me and uh, obviously if that amplifier uh, supports bridge mode then always put it in bridge mode because you are just connecting uh, this uh, wire one if you're using the other end as 3.5 mm then uh, It's gonna go into channel one on the amplifier put the amplifier in bridge mode And that's gonna combine channel one and two power and output it from channel one and two outputs to left and right speakers or if you are using this cable like 3.5 mm to RCA and your amplifier takes in RCA or if it doesn't take RCA phono inputs it takes XLR or TS then find the adapters that convert uh, the RCA to either XLR or TS and then just plug it into your 
amplifier as left and right or channel one and two and then obviously amplifier outputs uh, but uh, I'm using uh, audio interface or audio mixer as my main uh, inputs and I've got power speakers so uh, out of this audio mixer I've taken left and right to the power speakers and uh, Google Chromecast audio I'm just gonna plug it into RCA phono on my audio mixer and then another thing always power Google Chromecast audio uh, with the wall charger uh, because I have noticed that if I connect it to uh, if I power it from a laptop or from my Mac via USB uh, then there is a popping noise it's intermittent it's it doesn't happen all the time it happens sometimes but that is there and the only solution I could find by reading FAQ session on Google Chromecast when I bought this device was like connected to wall charger so I don't mind that I mean I'll connect it to wall charger and uh, there is a LED light once this turns uh, to uh, a steady white then that means it's it has established a connection with your router and it has turned white now so this device is ready to go now if you're using Android devices then you can mirror your audio to Google Chromecast but if you're using Apple mobile devices then you can't do that this is the limitation uh, because obviously Apple they have their own protocol called AirPlay and uh, that's how you use Apple TV to mirror uh, the audio of Apple devices uh, but what you can do is you can download third-party softwares from App Store uh, and then whatever content music is on your SD card or uh, sorry on the iPhone uh, built-in memory and uh, then you can play it uh, to Google Chromecast uh, but for this demonstration I'm just going to use Android phone and I'll show you on the screen as well okay so assuming you have done the initial setup of Google Chromecast with your router uh, if you want to watch that video I've created a video long time ago about how to set it up on your Wi-Fi network I'll put the link uh, in this video as well you can go ahead and watch that uh, to set it up but uh, today's video is basically how you get the stereo image using uh, Chromecast audio okay guys so now I'll show you how you could stream uh, audio in mirror mode from your Android phone to Google Chromecast audio now that way obviously whatever music you have on your SD card you can use the native app of uh, your Android phone and uh, stream it to Google Chromecast audio so just uh, connect to the same network and then go ahead open home application and then click on cast screen audio and as you can see uh, mine is already connected to AVME audio so one more step I want to show you guys is just make sure that you go to devices and click on this speaker icon right here and make sure audio mirroring is like to the max otherwise it's not gonna be audible okay so once you have done that, go ahead and open your music app and then just play the track. So that's how you use your phone's native application to mirror it on the Google Chromecast. You don't use any third party music apps to stream music to Chromecast. Now, guys, this is a really amazing device. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, uh, as most of you know that you can create zoning with this. So like, let's say you've got uh, a party going on in your house and you just want to design uh, a speaker uh, system that is going to uh, do the sound output in your lounge, in your garage or outside a pool or patio area and then in the rooms you can just connect uh, several different Google Chromecast devices to a system like this to make them in multi-zone uh, uh, 
environment. Uh, that kind of configuration a few years back used to cost a lot of money, but with the help of Google Chromecast multi-zone function, you can just do it uh, in less than two, three hundred uh, pounds or less than even hundred pounds uh, or hundred dollars, depend how many devices you need and in how many rooms you want to uh, spread the audio. Uh, so uh, there you go, guys. Uh, that's how you mirror your phone audio to Google Chromecast audio. And uh, that's how you create a stereo wireless system, not like just converting one speaker into a wireless system and uh, so hope you guys have liked this video if you have if you have learned anything from this video then please click on the like icon share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you bye